We also know from witnesses that the government was targeting Christians during that rampage. And while this shocked the church community, it has also strengthened it. it certainly has. Christians nationwide have now taken to social media to profess their faith. News Channel 8's John Rogers is live in Sarasota to explain. John. Good evening, guys. Today, the hashtag Yes, I'm a Christian quickly became a top trending topic online. Believers here in Tampa Bay and all throughout the nation feel that after this horrible crime, it's important to not remain silent. In a chilling account, a survivor of Thursday's shooting recalled the gunman singled out Christians, telling them to stand up and then murdering them at point blank range. So today, Christians all over the country took to social media to stand up with them. Yes, I am a Christian. Echoing the possible last words of the victims, thousands joined in solidarity online, professing their faith, like Dr. Ben Carson. Others posted messages like Zach, who said, even if it came down to life or death, I'd say, yes, I'm a Christian. We need to stop worrying about what people are going to say the minute the word, the name Jesus comes out of your mouth. Sarasota resident Mandy Hayes immediately took to social media after learning of the killings. We want to blame everything on everybody else and on weapons and stuff, but that's not what the problem is. The problem is our heart. We need to put lay down our weapons and, and love, let love win. Hayes is hopeful this new movement inspires lukewarm Christians to be bold in their faith and to make a difference in a hurting world. Our generation, our world, the United States, we need to stand up and we need to stop being afraid to declare the name of Jesus. This terrible crime has forced many believers around the country to kind of sit back and wonder how would they react if this had happened to them? Back to you guys. John Rogers live in Sarasota for us tonight. Thank you. And